Hey guys, what's up? I'm Aurora Virus, and thank you guys for tuning in to more Pokemon Blaze Black. And so, in the last episode, well, it's been quite a while. Uh, in the last episode, we went through uh, Route 2. Yeah, Route 2. And we caught a few Pokemon. And, well, uh, we defeated all the trainers, and now we're gonna make our way north. Before that, we're gonna have to uh, take on our rival Bianca again. Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle. Please, Pokemon to kind of become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. So, uh, here we go with our next rival battle with, uh, Bianca. And so, Bianca has two, one of which is her starter, and the first she sends out is a Meowth. So, no change from that. That the uh, creator of this hack made. Because when I played the earlier versions, they had like, uh, it still held, she still had a Meowth. And I'm hoping to get a new layout soon. As well for this. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to continue Blaze Black as well, so I'm going to be doing Blaze Black and Yellow on here. So my Starlight is up to level 11 now. And so of course, uh, her starter coming up. I am GS Snake. So yeah, just uh, vine whip it. Uh, yes, you are in trouble, Bianca. Vine whip you out of here. And well, that means we defeat a Bianca. But. Not before my MGS Snake levels up 10. And learning rap. Rap, who gives a crap? Woohoo! Yeah, she's excited that she lost. Okay, bye bye. Alright, so now we are in uh, Strikeholm City. And we've got an X speed. And I will uh, mention to you guys what items that you can get that uh, Triano put in here that are uh, changed from the original black and white. I train our Pokeballs, take the Shy, gives us a great ball. And so yeah, my goal with this walkthrough is basically to try to post maybe an episode or two every uh, other day or so. Because I've got my yellow walkthrough to do, and then I've got my other two going on on my other channel. So basically, I'm, I'm splitting it two on one, two on another. I'm going to be a very hard worker to, uh, whew, yeah, tackle all of this work. But, uh, I can do it. And I rarely give my nick my Pokemon a nickname. Uh, really, when I do, it's for the fun of it, but the majority of the time I can't even think of one, and I'd prefer not to have a nickname. That way I can easily remember uh, what their original name is. Well, at least for some, like, in the Unova region. Stuff, because I'm really only used to the uh, Kanto up to the Sinnoh names in some of the Unova Pokemon. Uh, I guess you must have been trying to use Scary Face to sharply lower your speed. That must mean she's a Pokemon in disguise. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and heal right quick. So yeah, haven't made a Blaze Black part in a while, but that's going to change because I, ah, yeah, I really need to uh, get this uh, continued. battles. Fun to look at your Pokedex and PC box. And of course, considering we don't have any badges yet. Yeah, it's like you're not going to be able to get that many items. 
from the shop. And of course, uh, there have been some diff uh, some changes made between versions three and versions uh, one. Something because when I played before, like you didn't have any double or rotational battles with the gym leaders. Now you do. So yeah, you got to take note of that. That like these gym leader battles are gonna be rotational, double. So yeah, I'm up for the challenge. And then more stuff. Not more than me. Uh, favorite model, Elisa and her Pokemon are strong too. Trainer, click badges. The majority of what what they say is the same from the original black and white, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster with the text. But there are some things that are new, but uh, not a whole lot. But this game is a lot more difficult than the original. And when I mean more difficult, I mean, like, every gym leader has six Pokemon instead of two or three. Or four. Well, being four, which was the last one in black and white, but, uh, yeah, here, yeah, you got a much more difficult challenge ahead, and that's what I really like is the difficult challenges. Alright, so in the, uh, trainer school, um, I talk to this guy, to meet the man's trainer, who wants to know more about Pokemon because they love them. Uh, so there's powers called abilities. Mm. No, cancel evolution. Just press B. It's that simple. Uh, sure. Uh, basically it's the same antidote, and the last one is uh, awakening, and it gives us a full heal. I think if you get, like, one of them right, you still get something, but it's not a full heal. It's like, I don't know, a paralysis heal or something. Anyways, Charon's here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say no. And then, uh, yeah. So, yes. A few moments ago, right past him. Oh, you have a battle with me. No! So let's go ahead and uh, battle him. Alright, Sharon, let's see what you got. Yeah, so, versus Pokemon Trainer Sharon. And he's got a Starly, so his hasn't changed either. From the previous uh, versions. Well, all the, from the previous versions, there are a bit of changes with the uh, the Pokemon that the trainers have, they don't have, like, the beginning trainers had, like, what, I don't know, four or five Pokemon, a, a couple of them, but they were changed to have, like, I don't know, two or three, but they were a lot more difficult. But, um, yeah, just to not make it as more time-consuming. Okay, Tepig is starter. Uh... We're gonna go in with my Midnight, my Meowth. And to some of you guys that are new, Midnight is one of my cats. Then I nicknamed my the, my Meowth after it. And I'm going for the bite, hoping to flinch it, because the scratch is only gonna do just slightly more, and unfortunately I'm not getting anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my Starly. And, uh... Aw, oh, come on. I got burned, and so that's gonna half my attack. Pretty much, so this swing attack is not gonna do very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a crit, too. <laughs> and then, yeah, the berry kicked in. And, uh... Yeah, one hit point. Well, I might as well go ahead and heal my Meowth back up. So, I guess, yeah, here comes my Meowth. And 
And uh, there is going to be a bit of a change to the regular trainer music. Um, it, well, all the music will be the same except for the trainer battles music. I'm going to be switching that up with uh, another music theme. And I will still commentate those battles, too. That's going to do it for Charon. I see. Losing you means I still have a lot to learn. And twelve hundred Poké Dollars for winning. You have to learn to use items. Okay, so he gives us the HMO1 cut, which uh, in the original black and white, he gave you three Orin Berries. Because uh, this was Fennel's job to give you the HMO1 cut in the original black and white, but in this hack, Chiron gives it to you. So basically, we have the cut HM early. But, uh, of course, you can't use it until uh, after you have defeated the uh, Strikes and Gym Leader. Let's go ahead and uh, go back and heal right quick. Alright, so, yeah, you see that green guy, uh, Sicilian. Is standing out there. I'm gym leader of this town. You are. Right, you want to challenge the gym? In what, that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Snivy, I see. It's weak against fire type Pokemon. Here to face that type. So, we're going to go ahead and go to the dream yard, and he's going to go ahead and go inside the gym. So, that's going to do for this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. So, until the next episode, guys, we'll be going into the dream yard. I'm Aurora Virus, and I'll catch you guys then. Goodbye.